Hey guys, welcome back to Paul's Garage. Uh, in one of the recent episodes I did on Project DH, um, we pulled apart the wheel cylinders out of the drum brakes. Uh, I, now I didn't show those um, being put back together, I just showed uh, how they were pulled apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just briefly show pulling those wheel cylinders apart um, and then I'll, I'll show um, putting them putting them back together. Now um, we won't be reusing those wheel cylinders. Um, we did replace them. It's just not cost effective to rebuild things like that anymore. Twenty-eight dollars, I think they are uh, brand new. You'd pay more than that, I suppose, for for all the seals and pistons and springs and everything that fit inside them. So. This is just to show you um, those wheel cylinders um, pulled apart and putting them back together and it gives you a bit of a better idea of, of how they work or how they should work. Anyway, uh, so we'll, we'll push on um, and um, we'll put that, uh, that footage of pulling them apart and cleaning them and, and putting them back together. Uh, don't forget to, uh, if you need to buy a gift for uh, your uh, your better half or anybody in your uh, family uh, ringers www.ringersandrodeos.com uh, little little uh, Australian gift store um, drop in have a look at their website and and maybe buy some of their uh, their merchandise and support Australian. So this wheel cylinder is a PBR cylinder, looks like it may have been uh, replaced at some stage before. Um, I don't know whether you can see in there, it's a bit uh, bit grubby and there's a bit of um, rusty brown brake fluid in there. Uh, the other three, the other two that I've taken apart so far um, have been pretty pretty grubby inside. And it's just, just a matter of taking off the two dust caps. Yeah, you can you can see in there it's um, brown rusty brake fluid on that side which would indicate to me that that side has not been working too well now you can rebuild these um, but for the sake of the few dollars what they cost um, it's just not just not viable to do it I'll just clean that muck out of there and then I'm probably going to have to um, blow them out with a bit of compressed air well, got one side out Goodness me, this is the worst one I've seen. So you just you've just got a um, a little piston with a little rubber cap behind it that fits in in very nicely, and a spring which holds the two apart. And of course the brake fluid comes in and pushes them either way to operate your your brakes. So I managed to get one side out. So let's see how this other side comes out. We might need a little bit of. Um, a little bit of gentle persuasion to get this other side out. Maybe more than a little bit of gentle persuasion. There's that one there. Well, obviously, that brake was not working. That was um, really rusted in there. So, and if I put my, you can't, uh, you can't really make that out, but I clean my finger up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's 
not too dirty and I run it around the inside of this look at that so this uh, this wheel cylinder was completely seized and of course that happens with um, brake fluid not changing your brake fluid and brake fluid sitting around for a long time the um, your normal brake fluid um, will attract moisture so you do get uh, moisture water mixing with your uh, with your brake fluid that's why you should change your brake fluid you know every every couple of years at least um, so anyway I'll chuck that in the parts washer and I'll, I'll clean it all up and and um, I'll give it a little light home clean everything up and I'll just I'll put it in with the rest of my spares it'll never ever get used again I wouldn't imagine but uh, but you never ever know so I've cleaned <coughs> I've cleaned this out um, well, I brushed it and the outside of it and cleaned up the inside with some degreaser and a brush so I'm just going to give it a very light hone um, just to sort of there is a little bit of gunk in there still a bit of dust and stuff coming out of there. Ooh. I'm just going to put a bit of brake cleaner in there. That looks um, looks pretty clean inside. You can't really see it, but um, certainly got rid of all the the rust and crappy marks that were in there. Yeah, seems, I think there's one little score in there where that um, where that little piston's been sitting. But all the same, I like to sort of give them a bit of a clean up and. Clean them up inside and go get all the other bits and pieces and we'll bung that back together and chuck it with the other busted ones. So uh, she's all cleaned and honed, everything's all cleaned up. Like I said, I'm just going to stick this in with my spares. I'm not going to use it, but um, you never know, do you? You never know what's, what's going to happen. So what I do is I just um, use a little bit of bit of brake fluid. Put it back together. A little bit of uh, acts as a little bit of lubricant, and uh, also protects it a little bit. So you got the cap goes in in first. You got the piston with the um, hollow section facing out. That on dust seal on. Then from the out working from the other side, just spring in. your other cap in followed by your piston the correct way around and then followed by your dust cap
So if you were going to reuse these, you'd have to make sure that they were pretty good on the inside and you'd have to get all new all new rubbers and springs and stuff for them to reuse them. But like I said, the, um, the cost of a new one is nominal, um, about 20 bucks. So why would you, why would you bother reusing them? And probably two years down the track, I'll be going through my stuff and I'll throw them in the bin. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's uh, that's another episode. So that uh, that shows you how to um, pull those uh, uh, wheel cylinders apart and put them back together again for a uh, uh, for drum brakes. Um, Obviously, you would use all new components if you were going to uh, to reuse them. Okay, that's it, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you need to do. Uh, get out there and work on your car. Uh, and enjoy life. Thanks for watching. <laughs>